Hi everybody. Um, today is Sunday and Tuesday we'll be leaving for our trip. We're all so excited. It's been forever since we've been on a little trip or anything. So now I'm going to get the camera off of me because I look bad. I've woke up with a cold sinus thing and I'm like no, 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 no. Not before we go on vacation. So I've um Ask on Facebook what could I do for some quick tips to help me feel better. So I'm going to follow all that advice. And um, I'm not going to let it ruin my fun. So I'm going to put it on my nasty house. I haven't, I've been working a lot. As you saw the cakes and stuff, it took me like three days. And um, it, I'm averaging now selling at least a birthday cake or some sort per week plus the candles and the bath products that I do so I've been busy anyway we're getting packed up you know you think you have all this time you know and then all of a sudden boom it's there but you can't really pack too far in advance so I'm sure that I'm repeating myself but um my mom and my stepdad rent a cabin and my mom just has me and my sister. We're twins and the four grandbabies. So she likes to, uh, when, okay, I call my sister Glenda, but I call her Grub. I used to call her Bubby when we was little because I couldn't say Grub. But her nickname was Grub, so if you hear me say Grub, that's who I'm talking about. She sings at Dollywood where they're having their national southern gospel thing. So, um, Mom rents a cabin, and, you know, she wants us all to stay together, so we're going to be taking a lot of food, a lot of snacks, probably more than what we need, and I just called Mom and told her everything that I've got packed and stuff, and she's like, oh, we're going to have plenty of food and sweets, and my stepdad answered the phone. I know the first night there, Tuesday night, we're going to have steaks, because he's done went and bought big porterhouse steaks, so I can't wait went to Publix and uh, got two bags of dog food and six brownie mixes with a coupon and all of this two bags plus six was uh, only six dollars I don't think that was bad at all anyway uh, I'll be doing a lot of vlogging up there if they have internet or Wi-Fi at the cabin I can upload it if not then I'll have to wait till I get back home. And um, so, if I'm not commenting or watching your videos while there, that's why. But I will get caught up. So, I always tell y'all that my kitchen's small. I'm going to show you how small and excuse the mess. This table right here, I had to add. And this is supposed to be for me to work on. But as you can tell, it has become everybody's catch-all. And I tell everybody, don't put your stuff up here, but they do. And some of it's my mess, but we've been trying to get ready packing. Look, my kids' graduation pictures came in. Look, ain't they good? They turned out real good. And, um, I love them. So, anyway. So, here's my messy living room. Hallway I'm standing in. And here's my kitchen. And the table that has became the catch-all and the store-all. So that's why you see most of my videos are done right here on the table. Um, and you come on around. Refrigerator. Stove. Messy kitchen. So it's hard for even two people. So and a lot of times you see me filming right here. Where I have to move my stand-up mixer over here for the plug-in. So you'll see me standing here with the tripod and me kind of wedged in right there. Or I'm right here. So that's how tiny and I'm appreciative of it. I love it. You should be appreciative. And um, we're used to it. We've lived here 20-something, uh, a little over 20 years. So... Anyway, I'm going to get a box. My son brought up our luggage, 
and it's dark in the living room. Let me try to get some light. So I've got things packed in Walmart sacks. <laughs> um, I will be getting a box. Got my son bringing home a box. Put all of our... They went, him and Nikki went and bought them a bunch of snacks because they said, you know, I told them I would buy them, but they said, you know, I buy off-brand. So it's their money if they want to spend it. But I have a lot packed in here. And I'm bringing all the toiletries I keep on, and I have all that stuff for everybody. And yes, Lisa from Lisa's Rants and Caitlin from Crazy Caitlin, they do challenges all the time, and it is hilarious. I love how when Lisa is doing a food-type challenge or a candy-type challenge, if she doesn't like something, she will say, I love how she says, that's nasty. I love it. So, but she won't spit it out or nothing. So they did the Bean Boozled Jelly Bean Challenge. So, uh, and she said anybody who wants to do it can do it. So, um, I figured this would be something fun for all of us to do. But I couldn't find them. I went everywhere to try to find them. And I told her, I'm like, I can't find them. And she said, well, try Amazon and all. But I was so busy working this week, I forgot. And I'm like, oh, no, I ain't got time to order them. Went to one more store to Five Below and found them. So, there's going to be ten of us up there. So I got that, and they also had a little pack just to make sure that uh, we have enough. So let me tell you, our family is known to gag a lot. <laughs> I, along with others, have a very high gag reflex. We, um, we have weak stomachs. So, um, uh, they will be gagging when I told my nephew some of the, uh, f flavors in here. He's like, I'm on gag. So, if somebody gags, it'll be like a, everybody will gag. But, there's one flavor in here, let me go ahead and tell y'all, that when it gets chosen, it will either be peach flavored or bar flavored. I will have to deny doing those two because it might be a peach. I do not like peach. I do not like the smell of peaches. Nothing. I wouldn't even let my kids growing up, like if you went and bought them Jolly Ranchers or something, you can get any flavor you want. You can't get peach. And one of my popular candles now is the peach scented. So when I make those, I have to cover my nose, wrap a scarf or something around it where I can't smell it because... I don't know what it is, but it just gets to me. So we'll have a box and, you know, washing up last minute clothes and everything. So, so tomorrow I'll be running around trying to get everything else done because everybody has to work. And um, we're a little nervous. My son, you know, he's been driving a while, but he's never driven on interstate or expressway or nothing like that so we're going to go the scenic route because he okay me and my sister my mom just has me and my sister my mom had us at a very early she was our, uh, she was young had us very young and we'd always ask her was she going to have more children and she would have but she got cancer at the age of 19 and had to um have a hysterectomy and everything. So, um, and my grandmother, her mother, Mama Kathy, was very young. The female type cancer kind of runs in the family because the first time that, and I know this is probably TMI, but years ago, the first time when I went to a gynecologist to be checked, uh, back then, you know, it didn't matter how old I was. They'd tell it. They'd call and tell the results to anybody. They called my mama. Well, they called home and asked for me, and Mom said that I was at work. Well, my pap smear came back bad. The very first one I had, I had the stage two precancer cells. My mama, bless her heart, she flipped out. Um, 
because I was I was very young too, you know, seventeen, eighteen. So uh, my mom immediately called a doctor. I went in, had more tests done, and then I had to then started the surgeries. But they was trying to save where I didn't have to have a hysterectomy, like you know, biopsies. I had to be frozen and lasered and all of that. So I just praise the Lord that I have the children that He gave me that he chose me to be their mom, you know, in my making that's up in heaven. So, um, uh, but since then, yes, I've had a total hysterectomy too. Anyway, I'm getting off subject real bad. Y'all know I do that. So, we're getting ready. I will be doing vlogs and updates up there. And I'm also going to do some shout outs. There's been several people that I've watched their videos and they've been nice enough to give me a shout out and it really touches and blesses me when they do so i'm going to give some shout outs and if you'd like a shout out too just let me know and i'll try to remember to write it down on a piece of paper but um anyway i need to get busy anyway about my son my son and my daughter and then my two nephews my son wants to drive his car and he wants it to be him and his sister and his two nephews, which are really, they call them brothers. Because I raised mostly my sister's boys because she traveled and sang a lot and um, lived with me. They lived with me and stuff. So uh, that's kind of making me nervous. I know you have to let them go sometimes. But at that age, if the family was going on a trip, I would want to drive too, you know, hey, with your cousins and all. So I talked to Mama today, and we're taking three vehicles. So we're going to put Alex's car in the smack middle. So it's one of us in front and one of us in back because Mama wants us all to stay together anyway and follow each other. So they're going to be in the middle. Now, here's the catch too. Um, rain is supposed to start coming in um, where we live but where we're going to it's rain and I think it's from that hurricane that's hitting the coast we need to pray for those people um, so if and the rain's coming in Tuesday and Wednesday and I've looked up the weather to Dollywood and all and on Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday it's supposed to be raining there too so if it is raining too bad, then we won't go to Dollywood. We will go do other stuff, you know, and that's fine. But if it's not, you'll see me riding around on the scooter because the foot doctor, when I told him I was going, he, he said, you, you cannot walk long distances because I'll just do more damage to my foot before surgery. So I'll be in a scooter, so we may, right now, Dollywood may be, may not be. I'm hoping it will, because it won't be crowded, and we'll ride roller coasters and stuff, but and even though they scare me to death, I'd rather get on one than to wait for someone. Now, if it's a real bad coaster that shakes a lot, I can't because I have the severe neck. But then who knows, I'll probably be filming and crying. I just got off that roller coaster. Anyway, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. We can't wait. Mama keeps saying that she can't wait. I can't wait. You know, the kids are excited. So, we're excited. So, I guess I, when I get up there, I'll film the cabin and everything. Because Alan, whenever he goes on trips, I... I always want to know what the cottage and all looks like. I just find that interesting, and it's so pretty. And Alan, who I'm talking about, is my good, good bestest friend. Uh, and he has a channel, and I will link his channel. Y'all go to his channel and subscribe, please. He has he, he visits the most beautiful places. You'll just sit there and be watching those videos and just just they're beautiful you feel like you're there and he does awesome recipes and everything so y'all please go check out his channel he's wonderful 
and um I guess I'll hush and uh, remember I can watch your videos on my cell phone I do not know how to comment on them on my cell phone if you know how to comment I have an iPhone please let me know I can hit the like button but I can't so if you I will when I get home be catching up on videos and stuff and um, if you don't see any more videos for me then I'll catch up I'll upload them my videos when we get back so but hopefully they should have Wi-Fi in that cabin anyway sorry for rambling so much uh, I want to thank every one of y'all the subscribers and new subscribers y'all are awesome y'all are awesome so um, next time I'll see you in Dollywood in that area love you all bye bye I want to add I'd announced I think that my foot surgery was going to be December the 9th well Friday the surgery center called me and the doctor that's supposed to do my surgery is having surgery himself so if I still do it on the 9th it will be with a, another doctor that I haven't met or nothing and um, they would take me in to let me meet him and him meet me but where I'm having surgery at is a long ways off it's 45 minute to an hour drive and that's if traffic's good and then you have another copay or she said I can wait and have it done December the 30th with my doctor whom I've done Matt and everything so I gotta let her know tomorrow and my mom she's having surgery December the 11th for her torn rotor cuff she's done had two surgeries she had one on one arm the recovery time was horrible for her she had a worse recovery and a lot of pain so she went this summer and had the other arm fixed because it messed up but it was a wonderful recovery she kept saying cricket I'm not in a lot of pain so she thinks that not being in a lot of pain she used it more and then during therapy they did something and it tore again so she has to have surgery so she's like if you have it on the ninth for two days I can come and check on you and stuff but I don't know what would y'all do and if I don't if you don't see me it's uh, replying back to your comments until I get back remember I might not have Wi-Fi up there so I've got to make that decision today and let them know tomorrow whether if it if I have it and wait now and have it on the 30th then that would give me time to get orders and I'll field longer because if I have it on the 9th I have to tell everyone have your orders in and everything because I can't work after that it's gonna be bedridden recovery so decisions decisions and I am not good with decisions so talk to y'all later